Now, if you want to do any of these activities, any of these activities that we just mentioned, few of them, you need the youth, you need the manpower, you need the facility, and you need the dollar. There is nothing free. Unfortunately, Muslims want everything free. They want Jannah even free. I said, no way, you will never ever enter Jannah free. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, حُفَّةُ الْجَنَّةِ بِالْمَكَارِهِ وَحُفَّةُ النَّارِ بِالشَّهَوَاتِ Jannah with blood and sweat, you will never enter Jannah peacefully unless you work day and night. Everything that is against the lusts, you have to control it. Don't look at haram. Don't listen to haram. Don't think haram. Don't smell haram. Don't touch haram. Don't taste haram. Don't go to places of haram. Plus, you have to make salat five times a day. You have to make the roza or siyam Ramadan and much more. You have to read Quran daily. Everything you have to do, sadaqat you have to do. You have to go for hajj, all of these. Otherwise, Jannah is not for you, for somebody else. All of you are highly educated. You did not get your degree free of charge. You paid money and blood and sweat to get your degree. You, whether you are medical doctor or PhD or you are engineer or lawyer or, 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 you know what does it mean, how many years it took you to get your education. I still remember even at the American University of Beirut, for my master's degree, I used to live on the floor to finish my experiment. Here at the University of Illinois, for four years, I used to live on the couch inside my laboratory and stay 24 hours behind my experiment. And you know what does it mean? Blood and sweat. You think you want to go to Jannah free? No. And therefore, as much as you have paid money, time, effort, energy for your academic education, you have to do much more for Jannah. Otherwise, Jannah is not for us.